Hey guys, Spina Dude here and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at another 2018 Safari LTD figure for the Hashtag How I Safari campaign. So let's have our co-host Marvin bring it out. Thank you Marvin. Alright, so today guys, we're going to be taking a look at this. It is the 2018 Safari LTD Dimetrodon. We are going to finish up reviewing the Safari LTD 2018 range of prehistoric creatures on the channel now. We did have a very exciting event, I guess you can call it, fairly recently, where Safari sent me, Kayakosaurus, and Bionicosaurus some 2019 Safari LTD figures. So if you haven't seen my review on the brand new Carnotaurus and the Woolly Rhino figures from 2019, links will be down below in the description. Make sure you check those out. I'm looking forward to taking a closer look at this 2018 figure. So without further ado, guys, let's dive straight into the review. Before we take a closer look at the figure, here are a few quick facts about Dimetrodon itself. Dimetrodon grandis means two measures of teeth. It was a synapsid from the Permian period of what is now the United States and Germany. Dimetrodon is without doubt the most famous of the Paleozoic creatures, with about 15 known species and many fossil specimens. The massive sail on its back is thought to have been used for display or intimidation, although body temperature regulation is another popular theory. Dimetrodon gets its name from the two types of teeth in its jaws, one type most likely used for restraining its prey, while the other type was used for ripping flesh. So without further ado guys, let's start taking a closer look at this awesome Permian Predator. Alrighty guys, so here is the 2018 Safari LTD, Dimetrodon. And overall the sculpt on this figure is really, really nicely done. I love the sculpt work that they put into this. And we're going to take a closer look just a second at the awesome sculpted detail uh, on this figure. But I personally am not a fan of the color choice that they put on the sail. And I'll get into that in more detail in just a second. So why don't we take a close look at the actual sculpt work on this figure. Alright, so detail wise this figure is fantastic in the body. You can see all of these little tiny scales sculpted throughout. And I love the wrinkles and the folds in the skin. Definitely reminds me of like a Komodo dragon or something. Especially with this more grey color on the top. And then of course we have really nice toned musculature in the limbs. I like the posing of the limbs as well. They all have a nice weight to them. Uh, I like how this one is sort of stretching out. Uh, you can tell it's in a very slow stride or walk. There are five digits on the front with five claws done in a black color. Same on the back feet, five digits on the back, five claws done in a black color. The tail is also sculpted nicely. I like how the whole body is sort of towards the back here, especially at the back hips. It's turning off to the left just a little bit. I really like the motion in the sculpts there. And I like the flick towards the end of the tail. I think that's really nicely done. The sculpt work on the sail is beautifully done as well. There are tiny little scales that definitely remind me of their Tylosaurus from 2017. It has the same sort of style uh, with the way the scales were sculpted into the sail. And you can see how the spine tips are exposed on the top of the sail. Now, this is actually based off of a recent theory that the spines of Dimetrodon would have been exposed uh, towards the top of the sail. And I think that's a nice addition with a nod to that theory. And I overall really like the shaping of the sail. It just has a nice flow to it. It's very jagged as well. It looks almost fearsome. I really like it. And of course, here is the head on this Dimetrodon figure. Beautifully sculpted. Definitely looks like a Dimetrodon. You can see there's almost an inclusion of some lips on the upper jaw especially. I like that a lot. I think it makes it look very naturalistic. The nostrils look a little bit large to me at the front, but that's not too big of a deal. You can see those are done in a black color. The eye is very small and that's done in a black color as well. And the interior of the mouth has been sculpted and painted in a fleshy pink color. And you can see the teeth are done in a white color. And Safari has definitely captured the sort of two forms of teeth. You can see the larger, almost canine-like teeth uh, on the bottom jaw there and uh, halfway down the top jaw as well. And the rest of the teeth are quite small. Now, for the colors on this figure, Let's start with the body. And I'm actually I'm actually going to make a shout out here to Bionicosaurus because I watched his review on this recently. He just posted up a week or two ago, if I remember. And I hope you don't mind me bringing this up, Bionicosaurus, but I thought this was a great point. 
The colors on the body here I adore. You have this sort of uh, dark gray color and then almost this fiery burnt orange color on the underbelly. And Bionicle Saurus said that this isn't a common combination for counter shading on animals like this because normally you have a darker cold color like a gray and then a lighter gray color on the underbelly or with warmer colors you have like a dark brown on top and maybe like a lighter orange or a cream colored underneath but this is a dark cold gray color on the top and then you have this fiery burnt orange underbelly and I think that's super unique and it works out really well it looks very naturalistic. I really like what they did with the counter shading there. So I love what they did with the actual body. But onto the sale, and this is a personal opinion. I'm one of the few people who sort of hold this opinion actually in the community. But I don't think that this coloration and the pattern on the sale really fits with what they did with the rest of the body here. I think the shade of yellow could have been a little bit different maybe, and then I just don't think I like these horizontal stripes. Um, maybe it would have been cool to have some eye spots or something, but with the underbelly being such a fiery orange color and the top of the main body being this cold gray color, I was thinking like a cold blue or purple or something would have looked really cool on the sale. So I might be tempted to do a repaint or and some custom work on this one in the future. And then of course the pose on this figure, it's nothing incredibly special, but it has a really nice flow to it. I like it from this side because it looks like it's sort of striding along in the ancient Permian deserts. And then this side as well actually looks really nice, but I think where it really does a great job is looking down from above because it sort of captures this side to side uh, lizard-like shimmy that, for lack of a better word, that Dimetrodon probably would have had when roaming around. So yeah, the pose is simple, but I like what they did with it. Alright, so let's give this figure a quick measure, so Marvin, why don't you bring out the ruler? Thank you, Marvin. Alright, we've got our trusty flexi ruler now, so let's give this Dimetrodon a measure. So in terms of the length from the tip of the snout to the tip of the tail, we are looking at about 7 inches, which is about 18 centimeters. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the sail, we are looking at about four and a half inches, which is about 11, 11 and a half centimeters. For comparison, here is the 2018 Safari LTD Dimetrodon next to one of my old favorites from Safari LTD. Their 2008, I believe, I hope I'm not mistaken for the year, but this is their Posto Sucus. This figure is fantastic. Although it might be a little bit outdated reconstruction wise, I just think the detail and the paint job is absolutely gorgeous on that one and I love the semi-glossy finish. And then also for a quick comparison, I thought I'd bring out one of my all-time favorites from Safari LTD, their 2017 Coelophysis. I adore this figure and Coelophysis is one of my favorite dinosaurs and this is one of my favorite representation of the species. And for overall rating on this guy, I think it deserves three stars out of five. A good rating. I don't think this one is quite up to par with some of the other figures we've taken a look at from the 2018 range, but that does not mean it's not excellent. My only real personal problem with it is the coloration and the pattern that was put on the sale. I just don't think it really fits what they did with the uh, main body here. And it is better in person than what I saw in the promotional images, but I adore what they did down here with the body with that very unique counter shading with the colder gray and the warmer burnt orange underbelly. I'm just not a fan of the yellow and the uh, faded out pinkish red on the sail there. Well there we go guys, that was today's look at the 2018 Safari LTD Dimetrodon. I think this figure is great, and if you're a fan of Dimetrodon and Paleozoic creatures in general, I highly recommend you add this one to your collection. And if you want to get this one for yourself, go to Amazon.com slash Safari LTD or go to www.SafariLTD.com and use the coupon code SPINODUDE, S-P-I-N-O-D-U-D-E, to get 10% off your next order. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also leave a comment telling me what you think of this brand new Dimetrodon figure. So thank you so much guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.